Hello guys and welcome back to the UK YouTube channel and in today's video we're going to be going through every promotional Guernsey in AFL history. Now by every, I don't really mean every single one. We'll only be going through the very substantial promotional Guernseys. We won't be going through the ones where they just have every name of the past player or the Anzac Day Guernseys or stuff like that. Before we get into the video make sure you comment down below what is your favourite promotional Guernsey of all time. And just a quick reminder and, uh, a lot of people that watch my videos think they are subscribed, but they're actually not subscribed. In fact, 49% of people that watch my videos are not subscribed. So if you are one of those 49%, make sure you click that subscribe button down below if you enjoy the content. So starting off with the Brisbane Lions, they wore this pre-season Queensland Spirit jumper in 2011 and obviously it is not a very distinctive Brisbane Lions Guernsey it's still got the traditional colours of maroon gold and blue but it's got the state of Queensland in the middle with the southern cross it's got the text Queensland spirit in the top left with the Lions logo and this was to uh yeah they, these Guernseys were sold to benefit for the Queensland flood victims in 2011. In 2019, they wore a Hall of Fame jumper dedicated to Kevin Murray. Brisbane have done quite a few of these, but this is quite a distinctive one considering there's a big player on the front in Kevin Murray. He uh, won the Brownlow medal, as it says on the back there. And uh, yeah, obviously the traditional Fitzroy emblem also makes an appearance. Moving on to Carlson, they've got some of the most famous promotional jerseys in history, starting off in 1997, where they, where they wore, sorry, a uh, light blue Carlson Guernsey. Now, they brought this back in the early 2010s, and a lot of people, including myself, really, really liked this as an away slash clash Guernsey. Um, unfortunately, they only wore it for one year during 1997. But yeah, I really, I re so, promotional Guernseys are rare to actually be liked, but I did like this one. And then in 2009, it's the famous bright yellow Guernsey that they wore against Fremantle. It, it was a, it was a bright yellow Guernsey. It was for the charity Yellow Livestrong, and it is for a really, really good cause, but if we're talking about the jumper, it, it really isn't great. In 2017, they also uh, brought in a blue-out jumper as a tribute to the suburb of Carlton. This just looked really, really strange when they wore it on the field. It just looked like it was an all-navy blue kit, and uh, yeah, it looks really strange. Moving on to the Dockers, where we can see a promotional kit they wore um, in 2003, really all the way until... 2010, at least once a year, every year, they had an all-purple Guernsey with a white anchor for their Purple Haze promotion that they still do to this day um, for the Starlight Foundation until in 2011, they switched it up pretty much for good to just their regular home jumper with a gold star on top of it. Where in 2021, um, there was a special Starlight promotional jumper designed by um, Fremantle fan, the late Millie Lucas's family for that game. Fremantle in 2018 also had a jumper signaling their first ever game at Optus Stadium with quite an exuberant design. It was interesting to look at, but you know. And also in 2019, they wore for only one or two games, I believe, a uh, normal home strip, but instead of the normal chevrons, it shaped up to be 25, celebrating 25 years in the AFL. For the Jolong Cats, they wore a really, really strange one in 2001. It was to advertise their team of the century. They were probably announcing something about it then. Um, it's a strange design with all blue on the front. The lines are cut off with that strange logo in the middle, but the back is all white. So... I don't know how this looked on the players. It looked really strange, and uh, yeah, it's an interesting jumper, to say the least. In 2010, they also wore a... Um, it's actually quite a nice-looking jumper, except for the bottom, where it, had a, it has some racetrack-looking things. Um, fittingly, this was to celebrate 85 years of Ford in Australia. In 2016, for their country game, they wore a, a strange jumper, where it consisted of... Um, it just looked like a wheat field in the middle with... Um, some barn doors and another, another thing moving up from the left side of the jersey. Um, definitely a country round jersey. Moving on to Hawthorne, they've had their fair share of promotional jumpers. In 2010, 
to 2012. I'm not sure how much they wore this, but I'm sure a lot of people know this is one of the coolest jumpers in history. It's the Hawthorne Kokoga jumper, where it's a um, it's a yellow and brown gradient on the sides of the jumper, followed by a hawk coming in to a green and gold camo background which looked, it, it looked incredible really as an AFL jumper. Then from 2016 to 2018, they pretty much wore an all pink jumper for their pink ribbon game every year. For the Ds in 2007, 2009 and 2015, they had a gold bit on their collar for their clash for cancer game against Essendon that they held. Um, I'm not sure every year, but a, lot, a, a few years. Also in 2010, they first introduced their pink jumper, which was then later used all the way up until 2018 for consecutive years um, for breast cancer awareness. They also had a proud to belong promotion in 2020, which also saw a really cool retro Guernsey make a return. For North Melbourne, one of the most infamous Guernseys of all time in 2000, they wore this bright orange bounding kangaroo jumper against Collingwood. Um, what do you have to say that, about this jumper? This, this is a North Melbourne jumper that's bright orange. What can you even say about that? In 2016, they wore a 427 jumper to celebrate Brent Harvey breaking the game's record. On to Essendon now, similar to Melbourne, for a few years they wore a, they had a gold bit on their collar for the Clash to Cancer promotion to spread awareness about that. In 2010, they had a TAC seatbelt sash jumper worn to recognise four years of compulsory seatbelts in Victoria, which surprisingly actually doesn't look too bad. Now on to Richmond, they had quite a few Maggie's match jumpers, obviously worn against St. Kilda every year where it really just consisted of their normal Guernsey followed by purple collars. That goes same with St. Kilda except um, some years they actually replaced one of their sashes with purple um, including in 2015 they had a normal jumper with purple collar and an all purple back which looked quite good. In 2001 they had a pure light start clash jumper no idea what that is, but it's a bright yellow Saints Clash jumper. What is that? They had an absolutely horrific 2013 Heritage jumper based on the 1873 design. I don't know why you're bringing that back. And then in 2016, 2017, 2018, and 2021, they wore a pride jumper every year against the Sydney Swans, which basically just consisted of a few rainbow parts. For the Sydney Swans, really their only promotional jumper was in 2021 where they wore a pride jumper against the Saints. For the Eagles, really their only distinctive promotional Guernsey was in 2017, where for their last game at Subiaco Oval, they wore a, um, a, a horrific Subiaco Oval Guernsey. I'm not going to say the Dockers one wasn't horrific, but it looks better than this West Coast one. The Dogs next bring up some of the most famous promotional Guernseys ever, or infamous should I say. First up, the Origin Energy 2005 preseason jumper. What is that? Like, what do I even have to say about that? 2015, they had a Be More Bulldog promotion. Well, they had a jumper which should be their permanent jumper. It is so good. In, in 2019, to end off the video, they had this. What is that? It's a it's a Thor jumper to celebrate their first game at Marvel Stadium. Um, that is horrendous. Anyway, thank you guys for watching today's video. If you want to support the channel just that extra little bit more, you can click the blue join button next to the subscribe button to become a member at various levels. If you want to watch more of my content, you can click on the screen right now and you can also subscribe with the round logo button. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers.